Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank here again with Royal Pools and more and welcome back to our pool equipment pad overview. In this video, we're actually not going to go over equipment. I'm going to go over how to test your pool water with a test strip. So stay tuned. All right, guys, as always, before we get started here, if you can hit that like, share, and subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it. Let the world know who we are. And every time we come out with a new video, you'll get alerted right in your inbox here, guys. So welcome back. We are gonna go over how to test your pool water in your backyard with a test strip. So before we get started, testing pool water is very, very important. Everything that comes with your swimming pool has a warranty paired to it. And the biggest thing that we see when it comes to damaging pool equipment being um, pool surfaces, pool heaters, it all comes back to most of the time a chemistry defect. So it's very important to balance your swing pool and make sure it's properly logged. You wanna test your water at least two to three times a week, making sure you hit a professional pool store uh, every week or two to where they can actually digitally log your chemistry. Why is that important to you? Because it protects you on your warranties. They wanna make sure that you are protecting your swing pool by making sure your pool is properly balanced. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to do that at home. As far as um, bringing your water sample into the store, this is actually gonna to apply to that too. So what we have here is a test strip. This is a six in one test strip from uh, AquaCheck 7 Hawk makes these. Basically the strip is gonna test for um, total hardness, total chlorine, um, free chlorine, pH, total alkalinity, and CYA, which is sinuric acid or stabilizer. The one thing you wanna do is get familiar with your test strips. You're gonna to wanna to sit here and look at the bottle. They always have a diagram with a thumb holding a strip. Make sure you know how to line them up so you're not moving it and not understanding how the strip works. Each um, pad is signified with a color range and you're gonna to wanna to line that up. Most people wanna take their test strips and kinda of go on the surface here. Once it's dipped, you have about 15 seconds to look at the strip. I'm not even gonna look at this one. I don't like getting water off the pool surface. Most people will do that. But what I wanna actually show you is how we do it on the professional level. I'm gonna take another knee here. Take a clean water bottle. If you're actually using a water bottle, uh, I don't know, maybe an Aquafina, whatever it be, you wanna actually take the bottle, flip it upside down, go about 12 inches underwater, and then flip it right side up. So going down, flip it up, you're gonna let the air out of that bottle, pull it right back up. Now you have a sample that's from about 12 inches under the surface, not affected by sun as directly as it is on the surface. Um, other reason is too, a lot of oils sit on the surface. You can get those on the pads of the test strip here and we don't want it to skew the test. So now that you have that sample, I want you to dunk it in the bottle all the way, pull it out. You have about 10 to 15 seconds, line it up and see what you have here. Once you get your readings, make your adjustments. You can uh, add chlorine if you have to, pH up, pH down, whatever it be. What, what we wanted to show you is you need to get in this rhythm of maintaining your own swimming pool every two to three, three, day, or two to three days a week, I'm sorry. And then uh, you wanna bring it into a professional lab as well. So there you guys have it, how to test your pool water via the test strip and also how to bring your water sample into the store here, guys. So take a look at uh, our Facebook page and all of our social networks. If you wanna view more of our learning center, you can go view us at royalpoolsandmore.com. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.